What's up, everybody? Rob Cash is on the set. Before we go further into this video, any mentioning of any digital asset is not financial advice. You know what to do. If not, please seek help. Hopefully, there's someone out there that can help you out. Now, let's get on with the meat and potatoes. Guys, I'm going to talk about Pundi X again in this video. And for those that have been following me for a while, you know that I'm very into Pundi X. You know, I, I'm, I'm very bullish on Pundi. And I really think it's a great project, project in my opinion, of course. Um, and I just want to share some information with you guys because there's a lot of questions about, you know, how this token can gain value. Why is it so cheap? And <clears throat> excuse me, what about the supply and all these different things? I'm going to uh, bring up XRP for a quick moment. There was a time when XRP was uh, under a penny. And there were folks out there, you know, crunching numbers and saying that, you know, it could never reach uh, five cents. It reached 15 cents. They said it could never reach 50 cents. It reached a dollar 50. And they said it could never go, you know, beyond a dollar or two, you know, beyond two dollars or whatever. It reached almost four dollars. OK, um, and I'm not saying these people are stupid or anything like that. All I'm saying is there's a lot of different things in this space that have, you know, been proving wrong. And as far as I'm, I'm concerned, the sky's the limit. And this is a new asset class. It's a new technology. So we can use a lot of, you know, educated guesses. But at the end of the day, none of us knows the heights of of what any you know token or project can reach. And with that being said, I'm going to get on with the meat and potatoes in this article. So for those that want a more in-depth look at the potential, you know, of the NPX as token by Pundiax, and not only that, the function and what they're planning to do to give this token some real value. This article is great. It's a, it's a lengthy article, and I recommend you guys check it out for yourself, step by step. Click on, click on all the links that are in this article so you can you know, go further into all the information so you can have an, a deep, deep, in-depth understanding of the token and their direction and use for this token. So that way you have a, a, an extreme broad idea, you know, of, of what they're doing. And if you're invested, you'll know, you know, uh, I guess, you know, the potential of what you're invested in. So now let's get on with it. FX token allocation to MPXS and the MPXS XEM holders. I know that gets a little lengthy, but. They're talking about uh, this token is built on the Ethereum network, which is the original MPXS token, and the original and the MPXS token is also built on the NEM uh, blockchain as well. So that's a combination of both blockchains with that token. Now it says, dear Pundians, mass adoption of blockchain-based technology in retail payments has always been the vision of the PundiX project. We've been steadily building to deliver the vision over the past year. Today, we have an ecosystem uh, comprising our XPOS devices, XPOS cards, and our new mobile app, the X Wallet. Since last August, thousands of XPOS have been shipped to more than 25 countries. Over 50,000 XPOS, XPOS cards have been activated, and more than 60,000 transactions were processed by Pondi XPOS devices and the X Wallet in less than the first six months of deployment. So guys, just to show you, this thing is getting used and it's getting adoption. And for those that are unfamiliar, and this video is new to you, this channel is new to you, and Pundi X is new to you, the XPOS is a point of sale device. It's the first blockchain based point of sale device that Pundi has put out there and it's getting used and it's getting adopted. And I suggest you do your due diligence and research. But now let's go further in here. Demand for merchants and customers for instant on-chain transactions combined with our growth trajectory, oh, trajectory have led us to search for a blockchain that can service a truly global payment network. That led us to innovate a blockchain ecosystem that can deliver tenfold gains in speed, openness, scalability, and consensus. It led us to the FX, uh, the FX and ecosystem 
that extends beyond just financial transactions toward a new path for decentralization to ensure it can operate without relying on any specific individual, organization, and structure, FX coin will become its own native independent currency for, for facilitating transactions. For their ongoing uh, support, the Pundix project and our initiatives to majority, uh, the majority, I'm sorry, of the FX tokens of the token generation event, TGE, will be allocated to holders of the NPXS and the NPXS XEM. So what they're saying is holders of NPXS and the other alternative will be receiving the FX token. And it has a chart right here showing that when they have the token generation event, it has a chart down here that explains it as well. In the title of the article right here, where it starts explaining, it says 65% of all FX token, 65% uh, of all FX tokens from the token generation event, TGE, is allocated exclusively to MPXS and MPXS XEM holders. So holders of the MPXS, of the PundiX token, that's what I'm going to say, holders of the already PundiX, uh, of the current PundiX token, will receive the FX tokens when they generate it. At the same time, another 20% will be used uh, for the ecosystem uh, genesis fund for developer partnerships, token listings on the exchanges, FX infrastructure, service providers, and more. The remaining 15% will go to engineering, uh, product development, and marketing. And it gives you a chart right here. So it shows you 65% of all holders will receive this amount right here. So if you're holding you know, the PundiX token, you guys are going to get some automatically just for holding the token, which is good. And it has here the total supply, 100%, 378 million, you know, 0.8, blah, 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 right here. So this gives you the total supply of what's going to be out there, and you're going to automatically receive 65% of this, you know, supply, which is great. Now, there will be no public or private sales. For the FX token. So again, by holding the PundiX token, you will be receiving the FX token. So this is wonderful. Now, just like this question says here, a lot of people in the space, just like myself, you know, we are wondering, okay, why can't we just have one token? So this right here explains all that in detail, which I'm going to read verbatim to you. The uses, allocation, and economics behind MPXX, uh, MPXS and the FX coins are fundamentally different. There are different projects with completely different designs working to different timelines. To change the terms, sorry about that folks, for those that are looking at the screen. To change the terms of the MPXS tokenomics would undermine undertakings we made to token holders and the entire economics of the MPXS token. And similarly, to change the planned tokenomy of the FX would fundamentally undercut its very purpose as a blockchain. In short, FX is designed to provide increasing, increasing token uh, supply to encourage miners to support the network and businesses and developers to grow the ecosystem. NPXS, by contrast, has been designed to service a payment network with supply decreasing as its adoption grows. Now, that's good news. So if you're holding the PundiX token, I'm going to read this again. NPXS, by contrast, has been designed to service a payment network with supply decreasing as adoption grows. So that's a good thing. So if you're holding on just say to 500,000 to a million pundi and you're looking at the current price, you know, being, you know, under a half a penny, you know, it's a fraction of a cent. You're saying to yourself, well, how could this gain value? Well, they're telling you how it can gain value. You know, it's going to decrease in supply as adoption grows. And we all know the less of something, the more value you know, it gains because there's less of it. It's not saturated. So this is good. Now, 
down here it tells you the actual the, uh, functions between the two tokens. So it says here, FX. Uh, let me, I don't have my glasses. I need some more. Okay. Now, right here, the FX token, it gives you the uh, breakdown of the functions between the two. Operation of the ecosystem and broader use and the broader use of payment transactions such as smart contract fees, IPFS, uh, uh, DDocker, all that stuff is beyond my uh, knowing, but I'm going to read it anyway. Hosting, which I understand, hosting and node service uh, services, uh, voting, uh, decentralized governance rights, uh, marketplaces, uh, gaming, entertainment, and, and etc. So, and the FX token is, is primarily uh, going to be native to the Function X uh, blockchain, uh, first blockchain phone that they're putting out there as well. So you can understand where FX come from. That comes from the Function X uh, blockchain uh, phone that they've created as well. So it's going to be the native token for that blockchain and for that device. So you can have a you know better understand of where the FX is coming from. Now I'm going to slide this over a little bit so I can read this. Expand that because I had a little trouble. Now, uh, payment network. Now, this is about the NPXS uh, token, the Pundi token. Payment network, including advertisement on the XPOS, receipts, uh, loyalty points, uh, bonuses, rewards, uh, purchasing of XPOS and XPAS cards, uh, fees for clearing crypto transactions, uh, developer fees for listing apps, tokens, and more. Um, after FX Mainnet is launched, uh, the PundiX token will also play a significant role in the ecosystem for many payment-related matters currently on Ethereum and NIM uh, networks and in the future on Function uh, X's native blockchain. So the PundiX will be switching over to the Function X blockchain and it will be used for payments you know, through through that blockchain as well for all these different things that was just described in this description. So it's going to decrease in supply. And as further adoption of the XPOS, you know, the XPOS point of sale device uh, increases, you know, with the network globally and with the decreasing in tokens, it's going to gain value. So, and we all know that, you know, if you've been following, you know, Pundiex, you know, they've been, you know, uh, very uh, successful, you know, with their adoption and their adoption rate. They just had their, they've had their foot on the gas since its inception. Do your own research, do your due diligence, and you can, you can trust. No, don't trust me. Bad word. Do your own research and you will see that I am not hyping this up. They have not been stagnant. You know, a rolling stone gathers no moss and this Pundiac stone just keeps on rolling. And me, I'm in it for the long haul. You know, this is just me. What you decide to do is on you. But I'm just sharing this information with you. And how you decided to move forward with it is your decision. But I think it's a great project. How to receive FX token. All Pundi X holders will have the option to decide whether and how they would like to receive the FX tokens. 65% of the total FX token generated from the TGE, the token generation event, allocated for PundiX holders are broken down for distribution as follows. Now, I'm not going to get too deep with that because, again, the article is lengthy. It's a good article. I'm just saying I don't want the video to be too, I don't want the video to wear you out. And the videos, the article is going to be linked in the description so you guys can do your own due diligence and, and grab every single, you know, uh, item that's on the plate here so you can gobble it all up for yourselves you know and right here at the titles it says 15 percent for all pundi x holders to stake and you know it gives you the breakdown you know in the titles of what they're planning to do you know for the token uh allocations and everything like that and it gives you the breakdown from the chart so it tells you word for word what they're going to do with each percentage you know of the uh fx tokens and this is a great article, you know, if you're really into Pundi, uh, it breaks down and it has links that you can click on within the article so you can go even deeper and get a, you know, uh, an extreme uh, idea of, of what's being done here. How does the Function X benefit 
the Pundi X project and the Pundi X holders. So again, it tells you everything here. I'm going to read this one right here so you can, you know, have uh, some understanding. And when you got time, please go deeper into the article and, and get all this information and, and have it for yourselves. Benefits to Pundi X holders and the broader Pundi X project are direct. For the XPOS technology, improvement of speed and scalability. For the Pundi X project, the main benefits are twofold. Payments utilizing XPOS and X Wallet become faster, and the potential applications for payments using NPXS becomes uh, much broader. Sorry about that. Uh, ah, <clears throat> with the enunciation of that, you know, maybe I need to drink some water. But I'm going to read that again because that's very uh, exciting to me. Uh, for the Pundi X project, the main benefits are twofold. Payments utilizing XPOS and X Wallet become faster, and the potential applications for payments using MPXS becomes much broader. So again, we're talking about more use of the Pundi X token. We're talking about more scalability. And if you've paid attention and followed Pundi X, you know, over the last year or so, you you'll understand or you'll see the success and the adoption rate that you know these these. These people are having, you know, and this is not hype. This is just me being, I'm, I'm just excited about the project. You don't have to be as excited as me. Again, I'm sharing the information on the screen. You can do your own research. And, and if you like it, you know, do what you do. Just know that I, I'm heavy on Pundi X. I'm going to read this last uh, bit right here and I'm going to close out the video. And uh, I'm going to link this uh, Medium article in the description. And I'm going to link another article I'm going to get to as well with a gentleman I really suggest you guys should follow and not just on Pundiex uh, either. So let me just read this last bit. The uh, migration to a blockchain with much higher transaction capability and a future broader node network than its rivals is an obvious win for MPXS via the XPOS device. Function X, which is the phone, allows every XPOS to serve as a node. With several thousand XPOS in deployment internationally, this will soon give rise to a network to rival the size and scope of Ethereum. In parentheses, it says the blockchain uh, project currently with the largest spread and depth of network nodes. In parentheses, and one which is much greater as we progress toward our global rollout. For a truly decentralized payment provider, such depth and reach equals greater payment speed and reliability. That is invaluable, which is true. So now, with the rollout of the Function X phone and with the deployment of the XPOS device globally, you know, these things will give, you know, faster uh, faster transactions and better scalability. And they're already being adopted around the world, especially in countries like Africa, South America, you know, where there's, you know, not a lot of financial inclusion. And that's another reason why I'm into this project. So if you just understand how things work financially, geopolitically, and if you look at what Pundi X is doing, I think you can see the value in this. Now I'm going to go to, uh, another article about Pundi excuse me, about Pundi X, but um, I'm not going to go verbatim or anything like that, but I, th I thought that this particular uh, site and the gentleman that, that uh, talks about Pundi X, you know, I think his, uh, his, YouTube ch his YouTube channel and his blog should be shared. So let's, let's get on with that real quick. Okay, guys, I'm back on the set with this uh, article here, and it's by Corn Bureau. God, my enunciation. It says Coin Bureau. Okay. Now it says Pundi X Review, powering point of sale crypto adoption. Now I'm not going to get into the uh, into the article that deep because the video is pretty lengthy, pretty lengthy, and I know how people like to hit it and quit it. But I'm going to link this uh, article in the description, and you should also check out his YouTube channel as well because he does uh, great reviews. And I just watched the video where he did a review on. Um, on uh, Cardano, he did one on XRP, Stellar, things of that nature. So 
It's a good channel to follow. I like it. It's very unbiased. He just gets straight to the information, you know, and he shares the links, you know, uh, in his videos as well. So I really think it's a good channel to follow. And he has a great blog as well. It goes pretty deep, you know, on any asset that he talks about. And he talks about, you know, Pundi X from its, you know, inception from the ICO and things of that nature. And, you know, what they're doing with their physical products. And it talks about the technology and use cases. Um, he also talk about Pundi X in his video right here, as you see the YouTube video. So I suggest you go follow his channel. You know, uh, I like it. You know, I I'm, I'm, think you might like it too as well. And he talks about other projects, not just Pundi, just to let you know. Uh, he did. He does uh, good in-depth reviews. And this article itself is very, you know, in-depth. And he has links you can click on to get further information. You know, and uh, I like his channel, I like his article as well. So if you want to know more about Pundi, uh, check this article out as well. And as you see, the physical device. So for people that are new to Pundi, you know, I'm sharing this particular article as well. So you can see the physical uh, devices that we were talking about in the last article that I had up on the screen. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is Rob Cash. I'm off the set with Pundi. Uh, guys, do your due diligence, research. You know, uh, I'm not responsible for your choices. But I am sharing information with you and I'm sharing my opinion on what I'm doing. So again, uh, be responsible in your choices. Rob Cash off the set.